Hi everybody, this is CBGS. I'm the captain here and welcome to another top 5 video for you have for you guys uh, Between Maelstrom and Lukier. So the fighters here that we have, we have their names. This is Rin against Randall So this is an interesting match and seeing the depth profiles between the two So I'm kind of intrigued to see like what we're gonna be What kind of match we'll be getting over here So not just because Lukier is on the field but you know uh, As you can see over there so it's being Sito in there So which is actually uh, quite an interesting uh, It's an interesting tick so to my brain so when I think about that deck That card in the deck so but as we go along, we get to see uh, Rin actually riding up to tier 9 Uh Randall guarding early actually, so uh, no trigger goes through. He's actually going to stay at 0 damage. Now, it is a little bit out of frame for the damage, but you guys will still be able to see what kind of card will be going in there. So we'll know whether there's triggers or not. I'll just let you guys know over here right now. And uh, yeah, as we proceed along uh, with the ride up to Lillian and choosing a card to put in the soul, I believe I caught that to be Breaking Dragon that ran into the soul. So, yeah. Raven Dragon is actually a really, really good card to put in the soul. Of course, there's a few others which also includes Rising Dragon, which is pretty much the linchpin behind the, the combination uh, of Lucia's deck. Uh, but of course, Raven Dragon adds quite a lot to it as well. So, with uh, its cost being so plus one when it's called out from the soul, it, it plus 5k. Critical trigger on Randall's side. So, two damage straight goes to Rin's end, losing out one of the Storm uh, Blue Storm Armada uh, set orders. But that's not going to hinder Rin too much, so especially with the fact that uh, she can directly search when she rides up with a Arco Force in Oni in Clan. Uh, but yeah, she can actually find herself uh, the set order for um, for Milstrom. So uh, as I'm going to bring up the the, the skill here because uh, I have uh, I do need to look it up just to make sure that I get it right here. So Milstrom's ability is that, or rather the the order card's ability is that when it's put into the soul. Uh, when you put it on the zone, activate all the effects below, then you can choose one unit uh, or tear dragon from the drop called Ring of Circle, or, and choose one of your Ring Guards against what's like it, turn for each Judgment Mill in the order zone, which is the order card over here. And uh, yeah, I may have glossed over the the, the, mat the the matchup over here, but it is important to point that out so that we can keep track of what's going on over here. But now, as we see the write up to look here, uh, there was no trigger on the attack turn from Rain Side, uh, and uh, yeah. Right up into Lukier right now. So, so Lukier uh, starting to crack the rip that we see over here. Color plus one and choose a card from hand and move it into the soul. Moving Breathing Dragon into the soul. And as we can see, Rising Dragon comes out. Uh, Breathing Dragon comes out and Ionella comes out. So now Lukier calls out three units. Uh, oh, units with different grades. As many units with different grades among them. And call them out to separate regard circles. Uh, Make use of Druid Dragon skill to actually put the order card into the soul. Uh, so that because uh, it has the ability that can actually be used straight from soul. Uh, so yeah, uh, make use of Dreaming Dragon, uh, Breathing Dragon's ability rather, not Dreaming Dragon, Dreaming Dragon from a different clan, uh, to uh, plus 5k to, to give Lukia the skill. So all you need is the power gets plus 5k. So but of course, um, that is different from Rising Dragon because Rising Dragon is going to get plus 10k instead. Uh, because uh, two cards have been called out, so we'll get another 10k if four cards or more will cut off from soul. Uh, but without the order, uh, that's not going to be happening soon. So, and this early in the game is best to save that for for later turns. So now Rin is uh, on Algos, decides to no guard, breathing dragon and Lillian into hand, uh, losing one Maelstrom uh, to the damage zone. Ionella coming in with an attack right now, uh, and. Thank you, God. Yes, that should be enough for there because Ionella is rather small, only like 11k from there. So, yeah. And of course, uh, Rising Dragon coming in with a big old attack of 25. Well, let's see whether Rin is willing to drop 20k for this. Or will she go to 4? Huge decisions right here. So. Right, just double check it on the abilities and Rin will be guarding uh, for the attack from uh, Rising Dragon. And uh, of course at the end of the turn, uh, Luke has the ability, two regards will go into the soul and he gets to draw one. So, so it does increase the hand size of, uh, of Randall right now. Being able to guard off uh, as much as possible will also be to call down as much as possible if needed to. But then again with uh, Luke, the soul is entirely in you know uh, the hand. So the, the soul is the second hand I should say. Trying to find my words there. <laughs> but nevertheless, as we pass over to Rin right now, so Rin is going to be calling Will Assault at the back by looking at the top 7 through uh, Algos' skill. And finding Will Assault, which is actually really good because then it allows um, 
cards to swap their position on the regard circles. That will be helpful for getting to that 4 attack or more, which uh, Maelstrom needs in order to get uh, its retire uh, off. So yeah, and rain up, putting up the, the Judgment Maelstrom down. Alright, and make use of its ability to call out... Uh, I believe that is Algos on the side. And Inlepulse Dragon coming down on the other side too as well. Inlepulse is a tier dragon, so it does support for Maelstrom... Uh, Maelstrom Soul Shenanigans as well. And even though you won't be able to get the, the Soul Blast restanding, uh, you will be able to, to swap positions and restand with... with, with um, Maelstrom, uh, we're using Maelstrom's abilities anyway, so the, the, the whole entire deck, so yeah. Is it consequential? But what is consequential is definitely the. Uh, is definitely uh, its ability to move your soul and then draw one. And then, as you have noted, so we saw spiritual body conversation right there. So, you guys know the combination, so if you pause, if you guys are familiar. Uh, critical trigger plus 10k on Randall's side. And now Algos is attacking. And then Algos' ability, if it's a second battle or more, counter blast one, gets to restand. Going in for a third attack after Ionella. Of course, Algos' attack on its own doesn't uh, doesn't get through to to uh, Luke here. But Maelstrom's ability comes off. First check critical, second check critical two as well. Three damage straight up. Oh my goodness, two. Oh no, <laughs> there is no heal triggers there. Randall going straight to five damage right now. The third may pass over, but wow, that's a huge turnaround right now. So and does put pressure on Randall here. He gets the persona right here, no problem at all. Uh, to get past 10k and the plus one draw two as well. But oh man, he does have a lot of counter blast. So let's see whether we can use it efficiently. Uh, in a counter attack back. So send the dragon into the soul right there. Almost dropped the cut. But of course, it's going to be calling out Rising Dragon once more, Breathing Dragon once more, Lukia coming out uh, as well too as well. So uh, something a bit more substantial than Ionella, uh, for sure. But you know, it's just the way it is as well. Of course, since the uh, the Vanguard is now Greek tree, so all units that will call from the soul gets plus five k, and on top of the plus five k too as well. So uh, uh, plus ten k too as well. So that Rising Dragon is going to get big. Sito coming down behind the Vanguard right there. Sito being a good tactical uh, draw right there. So because. Uh, you know, with Lukia's choice, you can actually send Sito in and actually get the the order card back into the the soul from the drop zone. Speaking of, uh, uh, just checking to make sure uh, which one he wants to use. Does he want to use the one from Anne or does he want to use the one from uh, from there? Uh, checking for uh, Breathing Dragon skill because uh, I believe at this point in time, uh, the it's miss it's 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 timing is missed already. So. Uh, all okay on, on Randall's side right there, so just fair play as well, he did miss the, the timing for that. Then making use of the order card uh, from also giving the ability to uh, uh, giving the ability to Rising Dragon so that when a Vega attacks the soul, Rising Dragon will go into soul and then a Pale Moon only card will come up from soul to regard cycle. And the combination here is Rising Dragon comes out and comes back into one more time. So yeah. Four attacks versus four attacks here, so but Rin is going to take this first damage, no trigger unfortunately. So, uh, Rising Dragon goes into the soul and comes out once again. And uh, it may not have the plus 5k anymore, but it will have uh, an additional 5k thanks to his double abilities. Uh, sorry, not double abilities, so the 20k they get from his one ability. There's no double ability here. So. But of course, so uh, there is the second ability of Rising Dragon, and I believe Randall might be deciding whether he wants to put a card into the soul to draw one. And he does, he does put the order into the soul and draw one. All right, just trying to keep their their hand uh, refreshed. So, since you since certain cards do work better in the soul, but no guard here, draw trigger. So, deciding where to put the power, putting on the regard look here and getting the first draw. Second check, no trigger. Fifth damage, draw trigger on ring side as well. So it's five to five right now. Randall does manage to catch up. And uh, yeah, again, there's still Rising Dragon that will be attacking. So Rising Dragon will be going after uh, Maelstrom for, if my math is correct, it's for 40k currently right now. So, gotta check the power on the side of uh, Lucian right now. So if I'm counting that correctly, it is uh, uh, 13 plus 13, then plus another 15 too as well. So that counts up to 41. So big numbers on both sides, 40 and 41. So, hmm. Rin will have to guard this as well, otherwise it will be her loss as well. Oh, oh sorry, it's not 41, it's 51, my mistake, I forgot about the, the Persona right? <laughs> but there's no matter for for Rin as a PG comes down to defend the attack. 
once more with um with Lucia skill getting that plus one draw, their hand size is looking mighty thick. So characteristic of the, the Lucia deck. Uh choosing not to put Sito into the soul, but then again, uh, I think if you do have the order in hand or or you know good enough cards in the soul that you can rely reliably reliably use it. Sorry, I got a bit tongue tied there. Uh, reliably use it, maybe there's no need to put Sito in. So it's a good uh in case measure. So yeah. Right, just double check it on the ruling and everything and whatnot, um, so that uh, everything is all correct. Judge Hang coming in to to double check the ability. But yeah, so it is five to five right now, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, it is on Brin's turn. So everything here is a must guard. Uh, with Randall's hand being as big as this, he could possibly guard off. But then again, uh, with how Maelstrom is, so it could get pretty chaotic. So because it may say four, four or more, but the key here is more. The keyword here is definitely more for sure. All right, so but sort of right did come down uh, for inside. So plus thank you to the entire front row coming into play. Our ghost is still there. Two wheel sorts are still there too as well. Wheel sorts still being able to, to swap around. Our ghost being able to restand again. So fourth, fourth attack is more or less guaranteed so long as we can call down a card to the side. But as we know. She still has spiritual body condensation in there, so we know what's probably gonna happen. Uh, but then again, there's also the Blue Storm Armada card also in the set order zone as well. So she doesn't necessarily. Oh uh, no, but it does come into play when it's on on play. So she has to use spiritual body body condensation right here instead. And uh, yeah, calling down. Uh, well, that should be idol sword in the back. So there's a booster. So Calabas one, it restands. Uh, not from its own skill. I believe it came from uh, uh, from Tidal Sword skill or Will Sword skill. I can't remember. All right, Algos will attack second uh, attack going in, and yeah, Algos attacking for the third round right now. Okay, putting down Lillian and uh, uh, the draw trigger. Both of them get plus five K shield for for different effects. Having the swap around so Tidal Sword coming down into to uh into the tag thanks to Build Sword's ability. So Tidal Sword is attacking. So must guard from there, the hand is looking mighty down from there. So But hold on a second guys, I think I think there's something to note here. So um There's supposed to be plus 5k on on in the pulse or so, but uh yeah we we gotta double check its attack right there. It should be plus 15k from there. Uh, maybe it's a uh, uh, forgotten by 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 on ring side. I mean it is five to five right now. So but Maelstrom attacking, uh, Randall deciding to his guards right now. He does have a PG as we all know, but now it's a question of what will he discard for it. Okay, I went back to check, ladies and gentlemen, and as it turns out, also the inner pulse uh, was a twenty-eight k, and since Rin forgot the. Uh, the plus 5k from spiritual body condensation, so yeah, there should have been 5k more guards from there. So, <laughs> oh goodness gracious, so and that last guard also as well. There's no triggers on the drive check as well, but uh, I believe there should be more guard. But um, yeah, the turn carries on, so it's the heat of the moment. We never know from there, but here we go. Lucas turn passes back over uh, and calling out cards thanks to Lucas' ability, sending the the great tree into soul. Uh, but of course. Um, yeah, Druid Dragon skill coming down, hold on, got to do a check there because Lukia cannot come out there, there has to be another grid, it has to be different grids across the board, so Rise Dragon of course coming out and being placed there. And uh, yeah, Druid Dragon skill has to be paid for, so uh, there's no Persona right, so all the units get plus 5k from the call and Druid uh, Dragon should give plus 5k to the entire front row. That was a Soul Blast if I, if I saw it correctly. Alright, uh, Dra uh, Rising Dragon skill, putting a card from hand into soul and then drawing one. It may only be one or so, but you never know. <laughs> and of course, it gets plus 10k too as well. So, of course, and then make use of the Great Chase ability, which is actually to soul blast, and you get the counter charge one too as well. Uh, the counter charge is looking pretty tight on Randall side, so that is kind of smart. Uh, oh, yes, and now we see uh, Breathing Dragon now, the, the blast coming out. And all units in front row gets plus 5k, just changing up which card goes into the drop from soul. And yeah, this is looking to be a very very dangerous turn, so with 
two grade trees checked on, on Rin side as well. Does she have enough to guard this as well? Alright. Paying for the uh for the order card too as well from the soul. So uh Rising Dragon will go in and come out one more time. But let's see. Let's see whether Rin has enough to guard as well. Gotta do a power check across the board, so it's 5, 5, 15, uh plus 13 plus 8. So 36 from that point in time. Uh, Rise Dragon coming in and attacking for 30, but that's not enough for Rin. So, uh, no triggers on there. Good game between both players. So, oof. All right. So let's take check out the deck profiles for both players right now. As you can see, for what Rin is actually uh, using right now, uh, Rin uh, told me before that she's a huge fan of uh, of Milstrom since it, it first came out from there. And uh, as you can see, a lot of the the cards that you would expect to see here uh, with uh, Price Trident. For counter charging too as well because you definitely will be easy to get five or more and of course also key cards like like uh, uh title assault uh as well as in the pulse also just being able to be handy to uh to make sure that the tier knight or the argo force namesake is fulfilled so but as we jump over to uh to randall's uh deck list and you can see what he's rocking right here as i had mentioned the two Cetos over there as well breathing dragon rising dragon the two lich pins uh, in this a uh, whole entire fight, so to speak. So with uh, Luxol, Luxol Songster uh, coming in as a backup, just in case uh, uh, you know Blue Dragon doesn't come in, but that's okay. Uh, across the board, both decks proving to be very, very good uh, at this stage right now. And DBTO A4 English has been uh, set up from here. So, and I hope you guys enjoyed this match. So, if you like, want to see more, we do have a Japanese tournament fight uh, that we have over there that involves um, Astoria Unica and against Eva. So if you want to see that matchup, do be sure to head to the, the links in the end slate. And uh, yeah, do be sure to subscribe to us here at CBGS and really do the best we can notify all our videos when they get released. So, but until then, that'll be it for me. So we'll see you then.